let us discuss practical Byzantine fault tolerance. Byzantine fault tolerance is a concept in distributed computing where a system can continue to work and reach a consensus even if some of its nodes fail or behave maliciously. It's named after the Byzantine general form. So in this scenario, a group of general must coordinate their actions, attack or retreat. But some of them may be traitor and they can send false information. So if we see in this example, so this general is sending the retreat, but everyone else is sending the attack. So how to handle this kind of situation? There is one algorithm, practical Byzantine fault tolerance. So this algorithm is introduced in 1999. So how it works? So this protocol operates in multi-round voting process where nodes take turns acting as a primary node and that is responsible for proposing the next block of transactions. So the key steps in this are the request phase, then pre-prepare phase, prepare phase, the commit phase and the reply phase. So let's go one by one. In the request phase, clients send a request to primary node. Then the primary node broadcasts the request to all other nodes in the network. So client is sending the request to the primary node and the primary node is sending the request to all the replicas in the system. Then in the next phase, pre-prepare phase, upon receiving the request, each node validate the request and broadcast a pre-prepare message to the network indicating its readiness to process the request. Once a node collects pre-prepared message from two-third majority of nodes, it broadcasts a pre prepared message to signal that it has validated the request and ready to commit to propose the block. And in the last phase, the commit phase, after receiving prepared message from two-third majority of nodes, a node bro broadcasts a commit message indicating that it has reached a consensus on the proposed block. And lastly, in the reply phase, client will receive the message from the other nodes. So what are the advantages of PBFT? So first thing is low latency. So it can achieve low latency in making it suitable for applications that require fast transaction conversion, high throughput and resilience to Byzantine mm -hmm. Some of the use cases are enterprise blockchain, the financial services, and supply chain management.